Hello everyone, welcome to another Magic Arena deck tech. I have something very interesting for you today. This one is more than a little bit of a brew, but I wanted to try out a combo that's available on Magic Arena right now, which is in fact the Famished Paladin combo. So if you don't know how this works, uh, it's very simple. What you want is you want Famished Paladin. Uh, it doesn't untap during your untap step, but and this is key, whenever you gain life, you untap Famished Paladin. The other card that you need is a Sorcerer's Wand, which is going to be allow you to tap it to deal one damage to a player or Planeswalker. The rest of the text doesn't matter, just ups it if it's a wizard. So you equip that to your Famished Paladin. So now you can tap it to deal a damage, but how do we gain the life? Well, we give it lifelink, of course. And so you can either do that with Prepare to Fight, uh, you can do it with Squire's Devotion, and uh, yeah, you just kind of try and go off that way. So the way that we're going to do this is you try and then protect your Paladin. So really you Famish Paladin, equip it with Sorcerer's Wand, and then at some point you can either Squire's Devotion or Prepare, and it becomes infinite. So you tap it, deal a damage, gain life, untap it, deal a damage, gain life, over and over and over, and kill your opponent. So it's a pretty sweet little list. Uh, there's a bunch of things that are in here just to kind of draw and try and gain consistency. So we have Hieroglyphic Illumination. We have Supreme Will, which is a flex spot. It can either dig down to try and find more cards for you to try and get uh, either your Famished Ballad and your Sorcerer's Wand, or you can use it to counter opponent spells that are a problem. You also, of course, have a bunch of ways to protect your Paladin. Oh, sorry, one other way to dig down to your Paladin, at least, is Forerunner of the Legion as well. So you have your Hieroglyphic Illumination, you have your Supreme Will, but you also have Forerunner of the Legion to just kind of try and find your Famished Paladin somewhere in your deck. Uh, the other things that you have are, of course, going to be just ways to protect the Paladin. So you've got Dauntless Bodyguard, so you can choose it uh, at once it's in play and give it indestructibility when you sacrifice Dauntless Bodyguard. You also have Sheltering Light to give it indestructibility, and this is kind of nice. You can scry as well with it, so if you don't have the combo set up yet, then it'll also help you dig. Uh, you also have Dive Down as a similar method. Uh, I wanted to have a little bit of a split between these. I like the scry on this. And Indestructible is great, but Hexproof is actually better because there's so many things that exile right now. Things like Vraska's Contempt, you know, you just don't want to have it get exiled when you're trying to give it indestructibility. Uh, in any case, uh, you also have some counter magic to stop your opponent's game plan. So you have a couple of Syncopates, a couple of Negates, a bunch of Cancels, and then of course those Supreme Wills, like I said, that are in the flex spot. The rest of the deck is all about the combo. You've got four Famished Paladins, four Sorcerer's Wands, Three prepares. Uh, you might want to go up to four if you have the option to. I don't have any more, and I don't have enough wild cards yet. Uh, we have double Squire's Devotion as well as another way to just give it lifelink. Um, it's a pretty cheap way to do it, so I try, Squire's Devotion is nice because it's only a common. So if you don't have enough prepares, you can put in some more Squire's Devotions. Uh, if you only have, for example, two prepares, maybe put in three or four Squire's Devotions. I just kind of feel it out. I've only played a couple of games with this. I'm just really interested to test it out. So we're going to run it right through a quick constructed and see how it goes. It could be an absolute disaster, but I'm prepared. Let's go and check it out. 